guys, I am Chris Kaler. And I'm Amber Fast of the Jane Cosplay, and today we are back again to guys with The Lost Kingdom, episode 9 of season 4. So last episode, uh, Aethel Fled became Queen of Mercia! Yeah, seriously, I wasn't expecting her to be allowed to be yes. the Lady of Mercia. She was, we were freaking out over Uthred becoming Lord. He got baptized for a third time. <laughs> that was cool. Then, uh, you know, Aethel Fled wasn't happy with the decision because it's true, he would have been a puppet to Edward. Whereas she, like, she was a better choice, but we didn't know if it was possible for her to be named Queen of Mercia on her own. We didn't think so it was. She had to promise to stay celibate, chaste and stuff, so no more fooling around with Uthred till her daughter gets to be wed to the new Lord of Mercia. But so that's in a few years. Yeah, yeah. But it's okay, it's a little price to pay for her to be in charge, and that's fucking cool. The cats are freaking out. That's really cool, and I think that it's gonna be fine. Like, in this show, years go by really fast, and they won't have time to worry about this. <laughs> but yeah, it was pretty cool. They basically did that, uh, and Edward wasn't happy about it, but then they proved to him that he could trust his sister, and they were... Now they're looking at East Anglia, because uh, Aethel Red went there, and now it's, like, it's lawless. Like, there's no one in power, so if they send an army together they get to have East Anglia to, you know, attach to Mercia and Wessex and basically they're going to be closer the to their father's dream. Exactly. So that's good. In the meantime, you've got Brida who found the brother. Uh, what's his name? Heardwolf? Heardwolf. Heardwolf. Yeah. Anyway, the brother. And he's like, well, there's no one in Winchester at the moment. So if you want to attack, that's like, you could do it now. So that was enough to convince, and I will butcher his name. Sig trigger, Sig trigger, Sig trigger, Sig No, Sig trigger. The new, the new Viking, the, the cousin of Canute's Canute. cousin. Yeah. yeah, Sig trigger, I think. I, I'm sorry, <laughs> butcher it is. <laughs> but in any case, it was enough to convince him to send an army. So they will try and get Wessex, well Winchester, while there's no one there. Our our son Uther Junior is on his way back, so maybe he will see that something's going on, and he will bring you know he will get back the message. Hopefully, we don't lose anyone we care about because there are people out over there that we care about. But I know. Let's hope no one that we love dies, and if we do lose Winchester, let's hope to you know we get it back by the end of the season. <laughs> Which is next episode, <laughs> but still, this is where we are at the moment. Uh, let's just jump in this episode and see what they do. I know there's gonna be some sort of fight because the thumbnail shows Brita and uh, Ear Wolf on a, a battlefield, so we'll see. But I am excited and a bit worried about where this is going. So yeah, let's jump in this episode. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to know when these come out and check out our Patreon for the full reactions. Let's go. It's so silent, you know? Like they said, like, no one is here. No one who can make a difference is here. Are you happy with yourself? Bitch! He could die. He literally could die. I am a bit afraid for Edward's kid. If he dies, then that was why Aethelstan is the next one on the throne. But I don't, I don't want to wish for a kid to die, though. Don't let them kill us. Uh... I am not the king. I'm aware you are not the king. Would you like to fight or to yield? <laughs> you can't fight. <laughs> it's between your your life and your pride. Ask what that entails. Yield. That's why I said ask what that entails. It's not fair if you kill them in both choices. Maybe if he had said fight, he would have given him a chance to actually fight his battle, but then he would have died. We have ripped out the Saxon heart. We're gonna take it back. <laughs> Look at them do their thing. Maybe not now, but it's gonna happen. George? That's oh. a lot of people! That's a lot of enemies, yeah. Who 
Richard! Oh. Him again. I kind of forgot he was still alive. We were in wait for the king. But now you will have to do. Can we kill him? A gift for my new lord, Sigtrigger. Of course, Sigtrigger. I told you I'm not that bad. A boy with that reputation. A kin of Ivar the Boneless, oh. by the way. So every fucking Viking we know is related, sort of. You sworn to a boy, Heston. Indeed. He is young, but... He's got swag, him. He does. He is cunning. Whilst you played lord, and the Saxons fought amongst themselves, he captured Winchester. No. Yes. He heals with your going home. Ah, oh, shit. Go to... No, we will not fight it. Oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> well, you wanted to go back to Winchester! <laughs> Not like this! Ah, uh, shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Oh, I'd be too trans, seriously. <laughs> I kinda expected them to learn about Winchester more peacefully. Not like this. You gotta save your daughter. Leave them to die, slowly. Sing to you once you're dead. Well, at least. Uh. Is it still out there? So yes. Help them. Uh, stay awake. Do heal. Sit up. <laughs> if one of them dies like this, I'll be pissed. Good. One at a time. You can do this. She's badass, and people always underestimate women. They do. Ah. <laughs> Charm him just a sec. And then fucking get your girl. She never killed anyone before, though. It's to save friends. It's not gonna be easy, but it's for a good cause. I would not last long like this. Just in, you know, roller coasters. If I have my head, you know, upside down for a sec, I'm just like. Thank you. Make sure you don't oh, break their necks. <laughs> Wake up really fast. <laughs> That's why it's nice to have friends. <laughs> we must get to Shora. Of course, they do not know she's your daughter. Purely find out what done, what has happened here. Lord, what? <laughs> you don't forget that? <laughs> I mean, he's, he's a father. Uh, can, can you take a second for this, please? Oh, okay, they, they she's said fine. she's okay. an angel. She she's fine. fine. I mean, you gotta move on. Like, it's kind of, it's, uh, what's her name? Fuck. I forgot. Jesus. Our nun friend. Fuck. It's been so long. <laughs> it's okay. You know who I'm talking about? It's like with her. You gotta move on, you yeah. know? And at the moment, he's the father obsessed with Fuck, they've got my daughter. And his boy is that Winchester too. Well, he's on his way. Well, he's pretty sure. No, but pretty sure if he goes there, because actually he said when so he said he was going back to Winchester to the monastery. monastery yeah. If it's Winchester, he, he can see it's you know it's been taken. He can probably tell. Torture me by all means, but you must know that she and the boy are Danes. Good Seems strategy. Take them back. She's half Dane at most. The monk boy, not at all. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Master is enough. Hold the young woman separately. She's Uhtred's daughter. Ah! Oh, take on that! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Find Uhtred. Send him her. Shit! <laughs> Do it. It will bring him. Fuck, Brida! It was a good idea, though. Yeah, but not about the, the queen children. The others back where they keep the dead king. She comes with me. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't know what he wants with Hutra's daughter, but... <laughs> Hopefully not kill her. <laughs> I think he's, I think it's fine. It's he gonna could, be fine. He could use her for other, other but, things, though. But like I said, no, it's not gonna be something like that. With Brida, it's because she's thinking with her heart and she's pissed. He's more... He's thinking about this more than anything else. He doesn't... I don't see him as that type of guy. No, but I mean, he could use her as a bargain to gain something. Are you one of us or one of them? Both. There's a many living here, two generations, three. 
This mm. foolish choice of who is Saxon and who is Dane. When That's one true. side seeks to destroy the other, you must choose in order to survive. Well, I refuse. It's a game for old men. New generation needs to say that louder. <laughs> you know what? what? <laughs> he likes her. <laughs> he might. Do you think there could be peace between Saxon and Dane? It's been done before. Dane, to me, I, I wish to understand their ways. Many would like that to be. Tell me of your father, Uhtred. I think you'd like to meet him. Doesn't. If Uhtred were intent on destroying the Danes, to clean us from the land, why am I here to speak of it? He considers himself as much Dane as... Maybe not as much Dane as Saxon, but he's got both. Mm -hmm. In here? Yeah. If not in here. <laughs> I could go in. Again, she's so here. badass! I will not be noticed. But your brother isn't there. Yes, but they don't know. I will find out where the captives are being kept, and when you reach the walls, you'll know where to look for them. It could save them if it comes to a fight. It's gonna be putting her in danger. I, will, I really like her character. I hope nothing bad happens. I don't want her to die. Because she puts herself in danger. Over and over again. A lot, yeah. Well, uh, we've got a situation. <laughs> You're not gonna be we happy. We need to go back home. <laughs> Soon. Well, well he, he is, but now. yeah. This is clearly wrong. What did you fucking expect? Let these men rest peacefully. I knew some of them. I fought alongside them. I may have abandoned the Lord of Mercy, but I never abandoned simple warriors. So you lie to yourself as well as everyone else. You do not get to choose which Saxon you've betrayed. You've spat on all of them, and now you must watch us do well. I have not spat. I was forced. No one forced you. You begged us. True. Yeah. But then again, I also disagree with what they're doing. Yeah. Like, it's fine to have an enemy and stuff, but you still gotta respect that they died in battle. She doesn't care. I know she's that angry. But she's speaking from the anger. That's why, right now, I don't like what she's doing, but I'm more, you know... I'm re willing to listen to... Sick Trigger. Yeah. Because he at he's, least thinks... He's more level-headed. I hope he doesn't see her. And if he does, I hope he doesn't betray her again. Okay, he, she noticed him first. <laughs> Cover up. Well, now you understand. You know how that happened. Don't do shit oh. to her. Oh, oh, oh. He's got a fucking knife. And he's drunk. Who do you want? To him alive. Oh, don't be fooled. Like myself, he's a man bereft of conscience. Then don't anger him by killing me. If you want favor amongst the Danes. You want favor amongst the Danes! Yeah, but you still came here and you gave them that message. You threw your own sister from yourself. Father, do you know what it is to live your life to write it? Do you know what that does to a man? Turns him into a drunk. Do not mock me. Then don't be pitiful. All this you brought upon yourself, you know that. You stay the fuck away. Is this how we play now? Thank you. I really you're, like you. You're enemy, but thank you. I really like him. I really, really like him. She's defiant and she does not fear me. Is that how Saxons are controlled? And all people subdued by fear. Was this how Alfred thrived? Yes. No. Alfred was loved. Look at how they honor him. And what of your Lord Ethelred, whom you abandoned to choose a life with me? He was kind of feared. Was feared. He was despised. You, yeah. you killed him in his bed. You bring out the <laughs> truth. So you killed the man whom you had sworn allegiance to. I knew there was something untrustworthy about you. I you here. You can trust me. I've proved Nobody you. can trust you, buddy. And how should I rule here? My fear? Of my love? That's been the long question that we had for Ivar and the Vikings. <laughs> I don't wish she's fair. Oh, wrong answer. Please. Please. That was the wrong answer. <laughs> 
We take this place because we seek a homeland. We work as one to achieve this common good. But we do not succumb to anger. That's good. And at all times we are united. Unlike our forebears, the men who tried and failed. Upper, blood hair, Knut, all taken by in anger <laughs> as they tried to pursue their own glory. This man it is basically a representation of the old generation. Is a man of ambition. Mm. There's nothing wrong with that. But he works only for himself and his own desires. And this ambition. I know that is a piece of shit, but I don't want a poison. his sister and his victims is dead. And we must not let his venom spread amongst us. Yes. So let this man's fate serve as a warning for the danger of anger and ambition. In a way, though, he dug his own grave. Have mercy! Oh, he oh, did. He did. Oh, what did he do? No. I know, but what, what is she doing? Well, she's <sighs> a whore. What's new? He's, he's helping a little bit. She's nothing. Discard her. Thank you. I can appreciate that, at least. Yes, yes. I guess if your water is there. Right? It's quick. Well, okay, I thought he was not, gonna be not quick. so quick. Well, I thought he had a straight path to his heart by doing this, but apparently... Apparently not. <laughs> but it's supposed to be a warrior's death, right? Warrior's sure. death is here. You sure? <laughs> ah, fuck. What are you doing? I was asked to bring food to the captives. You are almost convincing. Ah, oh, fuck you. You could be his sister. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Wolf was not a man of lust, and he spoke of no one else who cared for him. Are you not the woman who humped Ethelred for so long? Fuck you! I do not know who you speak of. Come. Where are you taking me? Someone seek to you won't find you. Oh no, no! The way it happened was a bit fucked up, but he deserves it. After what he's done? After everything he's done. Sorry. End of episode. Ah, yeah! The word shows up! Don't act in anger. Don't act in anger! Oh, they also waited for the opportunity. The doors are open, let's go! Uh, Edward, you need a strategy! Edward, you're foolish! You're losing men for nothing! That's not how you do this! But he's pissed. You need to have a proper plan! You know what, uh, stick trigger? Yeah. What's talking about the people who are moved by anger and ambition, they all die at the end. Just yeah. like that. He's so My chill. God. Tomorrow you will be surrounded! Surrounded now! And the boy being massacred! You can't say that after he massacred your party. Stop it. Good thing. I'm back, six so fights another way. We need a better plan. Do you surrender? Edward, shut up and listen! He's pissed. Listen to me! Do not do this! You need to breathe. Attack! No! Edward! Sorry. Where are you gonna stop being a fool? <laughs> He's being ruled by emotions. This is his homeland. I understand that. His... Both of his hair are inside, his mother is inside, his wife is inside. Yeah. And what did the uh, hurt his pride? You know when Uthred before but, saw his daughter being taken and he was like, let's go, and he almost forgot his sword. Like I was like, he's a father reacting. But by the time he got there, he was level-headed enough because he's been in a lot of battles and he's lost a lot of people. He under he, I said it later, earlier, he lost too many times. You know, when he said, you know, I lost Bioka because I hurt, I, I was too 
He went in a to, hurry. Yeah. You know, in a hurry. So I'm like, he's lost one too many times. So now he understands he's got to be careful about this. So by the time he got to Winchester, he calmed down. Edward is not like that. It's the first time something like this has happened to him. And by, you know, the last few episodes that we saw, whenever someone goes against him, whether it's a friend or a foe, he kind of overreacts. So now it's not, not only is it a foe, so he's free to show his, his anger, yeah. but that person took his home, the capital of his kingdom, took his mother, two, his two kids, his, his, both his heirs, his wife, there's his father, you know, his, his father in the background, yeah. <laughs> but still, it's it's the you know I get it, but oh fuck, dude, you gotta calm down. You're gonna get yourself killed. You really cannot see that. Not he's now. A, he's attacking a wall right now. Not right they now. They got Archer up there, ready to shoot them down. He doesn't see that. He's just he's completely blinded by anger, which is the point of this episode. You know, which, uh. by the way, I gotta say, you know what? I like Sir okay. Trigger. <laughs> when we first got introduced to him, the way that he was talking reminds me of uh, Alex from Viking, the one who played Ivor. Oh, well, with a little less passion, maybe. Yeah, but he, he he's talking really smooth. And to learn that he's Ivor the Boneless son, that's a really nice Did they say he was his son? Well, he's related to him. Well, related, yeah. That's one. Uh, that's one. Like, Can you go but I think we're. I think we're a couple generations after, so he would be related to Ivar. Yeah. But well, he's related to him, so that's a nice surprise. But that I, explains. Well, it's his... a nice but that explains a lot of things. Yeah. But I'm liking him, and I know I some do. people were saying, like, you know, he's one of the best enemies, like one of the best villains. Well, I do love a smart villain. So yeah. I really enjoy his character, and I hope he stays. Through, throughout season five too, like don't die next episode. It is true that most of the most of the villains that we saw, we've seen since uh, season one, like Abba, uh, Canute, Blood, Blood Air, they were all uh, filled by with anger. Even in the end, Ragnar. True. It's always been. I mean, emotions are, and we say that all the time in every fucking reaction where there's a fight. Emotions can fuel you. But it's not, it's never a good idea to go into a fight with, you know, anger as the main drive. If you let your emotions rule you, you're going to make mistakes. That's how Canute died, because mm -hmm. he forced him to show up. Well, he thought that his sons were Exactly. Dead. So he forced him to show up yeah. and with anger, and he made mistakes. And Brita is making mistakes as well. The way she's handling things, and what she's doing, you know, that... This at creating the the tombs and stuff like I get breaking crosses, uh, I even get killing priests. You know, it's kind of spitting in the face of of the Christians and stuff. It's it's destroying the stuff that they care about. But to dig up old bodies, like one thing I always like in a, in a warrior show. You know, whenever we got two 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 groups that fight each other and stuff, is sometimes some of them will still have the presence of mind to show respect to their enemy mm -hmm. because they understand that both of them are here like he is here just like that other guy is here to defend what they care about to defend their families or their country or what they believe in and they all all of them are facing death all of them understand that and if you do die you've paid your due mm -hmm. you have died a warrior's death show some respect in that so whenever a warrior whether and no no matter what show, whenever a warrior can show respect to the dead on his enemy's side as much as he does his his, his own side, yeah. or at the very least not spit on the corpses and, and you know, desecrate the corpses, I like that. So to Me see too. her on earth, people that have been dead for a long time, I'm like, it's anger speaking. You're pissed at the Saxons for what they did to you. You're not thinking straight. Like, what does that do but fuel your own need for revenge? Absolutely nothing. Because no one is here to witness it, first of all. And, like, what does it truly send as a message? Nothing. You don't need to do that. You've got the, the town. Like, th there's no point but to fuel your revenge. So, it's those decisions that truly lead nowhere that I'm like, yeah, I can't support that. Which is why I think I like Sick Trigger, because 
as soon as he showed up, it's always been practical with him. <laughs> you know, I'm not going like... to attack people I don't know for no reason. True. But it's like with Abba, Canoe Blooder, and even Ragnar, all of them, yes, yes, they were fueled by anger, but their main purpose was just to kill more Saxons and to just take a, a city or well, yeah, a fortress. Yeah, it's always been but a fight with, like uh, this. Sick Trigger, he's like, he has a bigger plan in mind that we don't know yet what it is. I like how he basically showed up this episode and was like, okay, boomers, it's time to change <laughs> stuff. But like, it's the fact that he managed to acknowledge that people from his side made mistakes. And he also asked good questions. Stuart, he asked her so uh, really good questions about, you know, can you live with Saxons? Like, how come he tried to understand the Saxons? Are you Saxon or are you Dane? You must be just Dane then. And then I think he really enjoyed her answers and stuff. And I think he would really appreciate a talk with Uthred. Because <laughs> Uthred is interesting if you think about it. Like, he's a Saxon, but he was raised with Danes. He's the proof that you can kind of have both. Mm -hmm. And his kids are also proof that you can have both because he's got a daughter who's more Dane and a son who's more Saxon and yet they can, you know, they're siblings and they love each other. It's Or he himself, like, helped the Saxons so much. He helped Alfred, now he's helping Edward. Mm -hmm. The Danes are spitting on him for that, but he still considers himself Dane. I mean, at heart. Well, I'm pretty sure that Uhtred's ultimate goal would be for all of them to just live together at this point like he's, he's lived know? a long life at this point he's old enough to like i said to, i was saying when stuart was saying oh uh, cook him is, is small and stuff and she wanted more and he's like well cook him is safe <laughs> and i'm like eventually you get to appreciate that but when yeah. uthred was younger he didn't give a shit about safe no <laughs> but uh yeah i think i like that sick trigger is asking those questions and he's raising you know the issue of can we live together because there's never going to be an end to those fights unless they all agree to lay down the weapons and live together. And he's talking about finding a home for his people, make it last. It's not so much about like, yes, he's fighting the Saxons, of course. They call them heathens, they spin on their religion as much as they do theirs. Mm -hmm. If, you know, if they should present themselves as the enemy, he's gonna fight back. But I love that his main thing seems to be, you know, let's find, kind of like what Ragnar used to say in Vikings, let's find a place where we can settle, not so much, uh, you know, let's fight the Saxons for the sake of fighting the Saxons, because he doesn't see a point in that, and I like that, it's kind of a new generation thing, and I, <laughs> I'm all for that, which is why, yeah. like, when I pit him against Brida, when it comes to reasons for doing things, and how they react to stuff, I'm on his side a little bit more. Like, I like that a little bit more. Not that I don't understand why Brita is pissed. Like, just with no, Uthred. I understand. Just with Uthred. Out of anger. She doesn't see how she could use Tiora as bait or anything. She's well, just like, let's send him as her head. Because she's pissed. It, and it's true. Someone raised something in the comments. What? She's his friend. She's Uthred's friend. He never intended to go and save her from the Welsh. True. She was taken as a prisoner. He never thought of, let's, why not go and break her out? She, when she's been prisoner before, he left her there to rot. He never went to save her. If it had been fled, he would have. It's true. It's true. He does love fled, but Brida is meant to be his, his best friend from childhood. And they had a thing before and he, he left her to rot. When she, and she was pregnant and everything. So I get the anger, but because of that anger, she's making hasty decisions, and it could lead to mistakes. Same with uh, the brother, like ambition and, and you know, selfishness and, and emotions as a whole, you know, they lead you to make hasty decisions that can turn really bad. Like the brother was pissed that he lost everything. His sister turned on him. He was angry. What did he do? Went straight to the Danes. Did something that he regretted later when he was, you know, calm and he actually saw what they were doing. But dude, you made that decision. What did you expect? The only one that you can blame is just yourself. Yep. So the way it happened with the brother, it was a bit like it was harsh. Mostly because the sister was there to kind of witness it, and I'm, I feel bad for Edith. But he kind of deserves his end. Like, he's the one that tried to play traitor. Well, at the end, you reap what you sow, so yeah. And then after that, he wasn't fine with his own decisions and the consequences to his own decisions, and he tried to 
you know, basically with him, I feel like whenever he feels like he has lost power, he tries to lord over someone weaker, and that's what he tried here. Like, he didn't get the revenge he wanted. Like, he didn't get the feelings he kind of expected to get with this. So, by trying to go after Uthred's daughter, he thought he was going to get that feeling, but dude, that's not how it works. But I really enjoyed, though, what led to his death. Like, the whole conversation of, you know, what works when you're a ruler. Fear, love. Alfred was loved. We did have that conversation so many times <laughs> and so many different shows. Yes. And, yes, you need to... We, but, uh, for me, I don't know for yourself, but I, I do think that you need to be loved by your people to be a good ruler, and you need to be able to be strict when you need to. You need to be respect. I think the, the the actual word that's missing here is respect. Yeah. You need to be respected. Fear, in my opinion, is never a good motivation. I know no, some people will argue against that, but I don't think fear is a good motivation. It works for a time, but eventually there's always going to be someone who's not afraid. People's going to turn on you so easily if you're just feared by them. Well, you some know? might not, but eventually someone will come up who's not going to be afraid and who's going to see an opportunity to stop this madness because they won't agree. When someone loves you or, and respects you, they defend you out of the goodness of their heart. They want to be there for you, but when they fear you, yes, they might go to war for you, but there's no saying they won't try and flee. And it's always complicated. Let's just say that, yes, fear works at, uh, till a certain point. But whenever we've seen a ruler in any show rule with fear, it never ends well for them. So I, I'm not a fan of the fear works things. I, I'm, I'm saying love and respect is the way to go. Alfred was loved and he is remembered today. Like he's got this huge influence. He's fucking called Alfred the Great <laughs> to this day. Yeah. He is remembered and people still fight in his name. Like one of the reasons why they support his son as that much is because he's the son of Alfred. Even after all of the shitty stuff that he's doing right now. Like even the fucking Danes are saying, let's take Winchester because it's the seat of Alfred's power. I'm like... He was that known, but not because of fear. His enemies feared him, but mm -hmm. his people loved him. Yeah. When you look at Ethel Red, they despised him. He tried. He didn't. He, no one loved him, and I don't think people feared him either. But if if you know if there was an emotion in there, it was disgust, <laughs> maybe fear. Yeah. And what happened? As soon as he made a mistake, they turned on him. Mm -hmm. As soon as he was weak. You show weakness, you make a mistake, thoop, turn on you because there's no love. There's no reason to support you. And like he himself, like Eardwolf, fucking turned on him. Like there's no, there's nothing tying him in, tying him to his leader. There's nothing there but a need for manipulation because of his own ambitions. Yeah. So I really like that. I really like that we talked about this <laughs> and the, the fact that we talked about this makes me wonder, you know, what's in the future for sick trigger like what does he plan later on because it did sound like he was considering a future here perhaps as you know let's put down the weapons <laughs> but then again he also well, says let's fight the saxons so i don't know yeah <coughs> but i like his swag like fucking edward is basically proving him right yeah he's attacking based on his emotions and his anger and he's losing there's nothing to do but watch more of his men is gonna I'm gonna die for nothing. That's so... He needs to calm down. Perhaps next episode. That's so foolish, seriously. It'll happen. But, yeah. Well, you need to listen to Uthred a little bit. It's just like when he was waiting to not uh, fall in Knut's plan. More and more people were dying and he just kept waiting because he didn't want to lose more men. It was you know? complicated. The thing with... Edward is he's either one extreme or the other like he's too careful too hesitant or he just goes all out Cold brush he needs to be in the middle he needs to understand what matters hey, and, and it, can you come back but please? no she's gone somewhere else <laughs> you need your help she's gonna come eventually but it, it's gonna take some time although now that he knows what's going on in Winchester he's probably gonna send a message and be like you need to come <laughs> back but by the time she shows up like how many of them are gonna be dead and and are they going to have a chance to do something before she shows up? I don't know. 
That guy is cunning. He's got good strategy. Do you think that we might take back Winchester by the end of the fourth season, or is going to be in season five? I don't because know. Because right now, Edward is being foolish, and Six Trigger is being a smart man. So... The thing with Winchester is that it's their home. So if they can calm down and think about this, they might know secret passages, they might know ways inside the city that the Danes don't know about. That would be, in my opinion, one of the best ways to go at this. Like, try to get in the city when everyone is sleeping at best. Uh, either get a hold of Sig Trigger or manage to open the doors. That would be good. After that, we'll see if that's what they do. Because I know there are secret passages, or there should be. I don't know if that's where they're, that's what they'll do. I don't know if we're gonna still have... Because, I mean, eventually the doors could break, but... We've got prisoners inside, like, it's not like they can just be like, Well, if you move in the city, we kill your mother and your sons and your wife and everyone, basically. Yeah, they need to... To stay down. But, um... What do you think is things gonna do with uh, Edith? I don't know. I never know with this guy. He's always wanted a woman and he's never managed to get one, so I don't know if he wants to force her. <laughs> Not this time again, please. I don't know, we'll see. But I am afraid because next episode is the finale, which means we're gonna get, we're gonna have deaths. We're gonna lose people. We might lose important people. Shit. <sighs> it's the dreadful last episode. <laughs> We're off, and this stuff is gonna happen, and I don't want people like you're about to die, but it's gonna happen. I just know it, so yeah, let's just fucking go watch the finale. <laughs> Alright. So thank you guys for watching uh, the pre-finale with us. Uh, yes. If you want to watch the finale, it's gonna be on our Patreon right now. The link is down below, so click on it if you want to watch it now. Yes, and if you want to watch it on YouTube, it's gonna be out next week, so just wait for it, and it'll be, and it will be there. Alright, so, so see you next time. Bye!